one of the harshest environments on Earth. Covering 3.6 million square miles. About the size of the United States. Nearly a third of the African continent. The Sahara, is the largest hot desert on Earth. The Earth's terrain, varies greatly from place to place. About 70.8% of the surface is covered by water. The remaining portions of the surface, are covered by mountains, deserts, plains, plateaus, and other landforms. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. It is the second closest to Earth, after planet Venus. The distance between the Earth and Mars, is constantly changing, as they travel around the Sun. The average distance between the two planets, is 140 million miles or 225 million kilometers. The surface of Mars is dry, dusty, and covered in dirt that is rich in iron oxide, leading to its reddish appearance. However, large concentrations of ice water, are known to exist, within the polar ice caps. In addition, a permafrost mantle stretches from the pole to latitudes of about 60 degrees. Meaning that ice water exists beneath much of the Martian surface. Radar data and soil samples have confirmed, the presence of shallow subsurface water, at the middle latitudes as well. Earth and Mars both have terrains, that varies considerably from place to place. Mars is quite similar to Earth. With a surface covered by mountain ranges, sandy plains, and even some of the largest sand dunes in the solar system. Earth and Mars have also experienced many impacts from asteroids and meteors over the years.
However, Mars' own impact craters are far better preserved. With many dating back billions of years. The reason for this is the low air pressure and lack of precipitation on Mars, which results in a very slow rate of erosion. However, this was not always the case. Mars has discernible gullies and channels on its surface. And many scientists believe, that liquid water, used to flow through them. By comparing them to similar features on Earth, it is believed that these were, were at least partially formed by water erosion. Some of these channels, are quite large, reaching 2000 kilometers in length, and 100 kilometers in width. So while they look quite different today, Earth and Mars were once quite similar. And similar geological processes occurred on both planets to give them the kind of varied terrain they both currently have. Compared to Earth, Mars is a pretty small, dry, cold, and dusty planet. It has comparatively low gravity, very little atmosphere and no breathable air. However, the planet does have its fair share of water albeit mostly in ice form. It has seasonal cycles similar to Earth. Temperature variations that are similar. And a day that is almost as long. All of these factors will have to be addressed, if ever human beings want to live there. And whereas some can be worked with, others will have to be overcome or adapted to. And for that, 
we will have to lean pretty heavily on our technology. Best of luck to those who would like to venture there someday and who do not plan on coming home.